Hi friend, welcome once again in another episode of Derivative. Here in this uh, video, we are going to prove here uh, derivative of the function e to the power x, right, is equals to e to the power x itself, right? Here actually this e is a Euler constant, right? Euler number also we know uh, by Euler numbers also we know uh, it has some constant value, right? You just understand e as a constant right now, right? And uh, later we'll be using a little concept of the e, uh, this Euler number, right? Euler constant also we say uh, that uh, as we have learned in the derivative, that that will be in the last portion. So let's uh, start our uh, this proving portion, right? So here our function f of x is equals to e to the power x. Now what we have learned in previous video, right? That derivative of the function f of x is equals to limit when h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right so I'm just applying this uh, the this formula over here so what I will get here now derivative of function f of x I can also write like this dy by dx or I can also write like this uh, derivative of function f of x right divided by dx so any one whatever you like you can write one one you just write one out of this all right out of this three so is limit h tends to zero now I'll be just plugging the value of x plus h here as a x right so what I will get right I will get here uh, e to the power x plus h right this x plus h will be inserted over here when I will put this value right it's just a machine you can say when I'll put something value I'll get like this so when I will put suppose I want apple then I'll get uh, uh, when I'll put the apple in this function I'll get e to the power apple right so I'm putting here now x plus h so when I will put here uh, I will plug the value in this function I'll put in this machine suppose x plus h then I'll get e to the power x plus h so yeah e to the power x plus h I get right and now I'm putting just x so I'll get e to the power x whole divided by now again h right now again I'm writing derivative of uh, dy by dx I'm writing in this form right so limit when h tends to 0 right so now what we have learned in algebra let me tell you one thing x to the power y times x to the power uh, uh, no, 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 I'm not writing y. Uh, you may become the x to the power m times x to the power n is equals to x to the power m plus n, right? We have learned this in algebra portion. So I'm just using this concept over here. Why I'm using, I'll be telling you later, right? So e to the power x times e to the power h, right? I can write like this. I can split this x plus h into uh, into two form, right? Uh, in the product of uh, e, right? So if I will solve this, I will get the same thing. So minus e to the power x whole divided by h, right? Now see what I'm exactly doing. E I already told you uh, it's a constant, right? It's a constant, constant to the power anything, right? Constant to the power anything will be again constant, right? It will be again constant. So I am taking out this constant. One constant I am taking out outside means this constant I am taking out outside. So e to the power x is now limit h tends to 0 e to the power uh, uh, h minus 1. What I did here actually I, 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 I take this e to the power x as a common actually I took a, a jump a step here limit h tends to 0 see e to the power x e to the power x both where it's e to the power x so e to the power x I took the common then I'll left with e to the power h minus 1 divided by h so now I'm taking this e to the power x over here outside right so e to the power h whole divided by h now you just remember something what we have learned in uh, in, in in limit chapter right in limit chapter we had learned let me tell you once again right that limit when h tends to 0 e to the power h minus 1 whole divided by uh, uh, whole divided by h is equals to 
one right this thing we had learned in limit chapter now it's the same concept I'm now using here in this chapter so what I will get e to the power x times this whole thing this whole thing will be equals to 1 so e to the power x times 1 that is derivative of the function fx is equals to now 1 right and we proved it sorry not 1 not 1 is e, e is equals to e to the power x right we proved it so uh, you need this concept of the limit I was telling in the starting point also that uh, we will be using a little bit concept of this so I hope you are still remembering this right so again I'm telling you further you have to remember all the things of the limits uh, while studying the derivative that is why we first uh, initially learned the limit and now I'm uh, now means we are learning this uh, derivative after this derivative we'll be learning integration uh, but it's too much long chapter derivative so we'll be learning step by step uh, more thing there are more things to share with you lots of thing right so we'll be learning one by one I hope you understand this and you'll be remembering this uh, this theorem right okay we'll be meeting in the next video bye